Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve Facebook's most asked question of 2021, verifying an alien dictionary. And the funny thing is, I think this was also Facebook's most asked question of 2020. So I guess they really like to reuse questions. But let's get into the problem. And you might recognize that we've actually solved a very similar problem to this as before. We've solved the alien dictionary problem, which was actually a very hard problem. And the good news is that this problem is a lot easier. And this problem itself is actually a sub problem of that alien dictionary problem. So if you've solved that before, you'll definitely know how to solve this. If you haven't solved that before, I think that's a that other problem is a really good follow up problem to this problem. And I will probably link it below if you want to take a look at the solution for that problem as well. But for this, the premise of the problem is pretty similar. So we're given an alien language that happens to use all 26 lowercase English letters. But the difference is that in the alien dictionary language, these 26 uh, English characters, A, B, C, etc., right, are they could be in a different order than the A through Z order that we are all familiar with. The alien order could be some permutation of the ABC order. And we are given a sequence of words of the alien language that are or should be in sorted order based on that alien language. And we want to return true if these words are actually sorted based on the alien language. And we want to return false if they're not sorted based on the alien language. And we are actually given what the alien ordering happens to be. So instead of A, A B, C, D, uh, all the way to Z, the alien language in this problem is actually in a different order. You can see it's H, L, a, B, et cetera, et cetera, right? So it's a different order than we are familiar with. And we're also given this list of words that should be sorted in order. Now, obviously in real English, these two words are sorted. How do we know that hello comes before leak code in English order? Because we look at the first character, right? We compare character by character. These two characters are different, right? The first different characters are how we compare two words, right? Since these characters are different, we want to know, okay, which one of these characters comes first? Of course, we know H is less than L in English order, right? H comes before L in the uh, English language, right? So of course, in in real English, H hello is going to come before leak code. Is that also true in the alien language? Well, let's take a look. So we're looking for characters H and L. We can see that H is actually the first character in the alien language and L is the second character in the alien language. So yes, even in this alien language, these two words are sorted correctly. So we return true. Of course, we can verify the alien dictionary based on the first differing character, but suppose we were given two words such as these words. We compare character by character, right? We, we're looking for the first differing character. So we look at the first characters, they're both H, so they're not different. So we're gonna look for the next character that happens to actually be different. We look, we find an E and an E. So again, we shift. Now notice how one word was a prefix of the other because we reached the end of one string, but we did not reach the end of the other string. So in this case, this word was a prefix of the other word. So then the question becomes, which one of these words is supposed to go first? Basically, it works the same way as in English. If one of the words happens to be a prefix of the other word, then the smaller word goes first. If So therefore, this is a true uh, alien dictionary, right? This is verified as true. But if it was the opposite, if we had... Uh, you know, he come after hello, that would be wrong, right? Because we reached the end of the second string, but then there's still some characters left in the first string. So that th this would basically be false, right? We can't have something like that happen. And if you kind of want to know why it's basically, okay, we reached the end of this string. So it's basically an empty character. And here we have an L. So what is smaller? Technically, an empty character, aka a space or whatever you want to call it, is always going to be smaller than any real character. So that's why he comes before hello. So those are the only two rules that you really have to know to verify this alien dictionary. So now we can finally get into the code. Now let's get into the code. You can see that I basically summarized the two rules that we have up above. Basically, we're looking for the first differing character if we can find it. If we can't find the first differing character, that means one word is a prefix of the other. If word A is a prefix of 
word B, then word A must come before word B. So word B must come after word A. So the first thing we want to do is actually get the index of every single character and put it in like a hash map or something. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to go through for every index character pair in our input order string. Uh, in Python, you can enumerate it to get the index and the character at the same time. We're going to use the character as a key and we're going to use the index as the value. So that's pretty much what I'm doing with this one line. So then when we do find the first differing characters, we'll be able to compare which one actually comes first in the alien dictionary. So then we just need to go through every pair of words in our words array and make sure that every pair of words is in order. So we can do that pretty simply by going through every single word, the length of words minus one, because we're going to be comparing every single pair, every adjacent pair. So we can get those words now, word one and word two that we're going to be comparing. Word one is going to be the word at index i. Word two is going to be the word at index i plus one. And now we just want to go through character by character in the words. We're going to go in range of length of word one because word if the words happen to be similar or if word one is a prefix of word two then we can reach the end of word one and we'll verify that it was in correct order but if we reach the end of word two before we reach the end of word one in in which case this would happen right uh, the j happened to be the length of word two but somehow we were still in bounds for word one. That means that word two is a prefix of word one, which is not allowed. So if we ever reach this condition, that means we have uh, determined that this is not verified. We have to return false in this case. We reached the end of word two before we reached the end of word one and we didn't encounter any differing characters and word two obviously comes after word one. You can see that I plus one. So in that case, we would have to return false. If we don't reach that case, we're going to be looking for the first differing character. So let's go character by character. If the character in word one is not equal to the character in word two, then we have found our first differing character. Now we just want to know, we just want to verify that the character in word one comes before the character in word two in our order index map. So if that's, if that's not the case, basically if order index of word two, the character in word two happens to be less than the order index of the character in word one. That means we do not have an, a verified uh, word list, right? Because word two is supposed to be greater than word one. The character in word two is supposed to be greater than the character in word one. If we have the opposite, that means that this is not verified. That means we have to return false. But if, it, if the opposite is true, that means these two words are verified. We're not going to return true quite yet because we might still have some words to iterate through. But at the very least, we can go ahead and break out of this for loop, meaning we can stop comparing these two words. We already found the first differing character and it happened to be valid, so we don't have to continue. And if we end up going through every single uh, adjacent pair of words in our words list and we never returned false, either by finding differing characters or by finding some prefix that was out of order, then we can go ahead and once the loop is done executing, we can go ahead and return true all the way outside of our for loop. And of course, I always have typos. For some reason, I took the length of words, but we actually want to take the length of words. That's what it's actually called. And then that gives us the optimal solution. As you can see, it runs pretty efficiently. Basically, the overall time complexity is the total number of words, the total number of characters in all words in the input. So I hope that this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot, and I'll hopefully see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.